So going over a rec ball, um, we tried this thing over the summer and this past fall. Um, we call them TheraBand hurdles. Um, we had a little bit of trouble trying to get a lot of kids to understand to get their arms all the way behind them and make a full circle afterwards. Um, it was a lot of just up and to the side or so then they struggled with getting their hands back or it was just a very small circle and you know getting them to utilize their arms to help them then travel forwards and upwards um, will be very beneficial and we found a lot of luck with using this type of deal um, in order to be able to teach them. So the way that we start is we always want to point, want to point our foot to the direction we're going, which is forwards. So when you hurdle, you want that foot to point where you're going. So that's how, where we're going to start. Everything starts in front, forwards, front, same thing. So then from here, you are going to go all the way around and drop it behind you. And if they can do that, then they can jump their feet together. Once they're able to do them separately, if they are ready and they show that they can start like this every time and they go and they drop it, as they drop it, they can jump together. But that's as far as beginner needs to go. Um, intermediate, they need to start that way. Um, so here, go all the way around, jump together and straight jump would be their next progression. And then for advanced, they will have a springboard and they start on the floor and it says land back on the board but it means the floor so they'll jump and hurdle onto the board and then end up backwards off of the board kind of like what um excel bronze in level three would do um to get them to get their feet in front of them and then get their feet back behind them so that is what the theraband hurdles are in their progression um the next one would be the wedge station which is here on the wall so they will either kick up to a handstand very basically and just stay on the wall so try and kick as hard as they can that way they're able to land against the wall and hold it um that next little bit for intermediate would then be so this will stand up this way and you will put it on the ground and then they will kick up and their hands will slide off of the ground if they do it the right way so their hands will go in front and they will, they should fall if they do it the right way. Their hands should just slide up. Um, I'm too tall and I would have just killed my ankles. Um, so I rolled down, but make sure that they're falling flat. Um, that way they stay in one piece. Um, and then for, oh, and then for advanced, um, ooh, what are they doing? Let's see. Stand. Oh. Okay, so they're not going to use the wedge. They're going to use their panel mat. That makes sense. Okay. So sorry. We haven't printed these yet. So I'm having to look on my phone. Um, but they will be printed on the wall and ready to go tomorrow for the rec side. Um, so they're going to do their push-up hops on the panel mat. And now I'm out of breath. <laughs> so they're just going to hold their push-up on the ground and then try and hop their hands up on the panel mat with their arms straight. Um, moving down, I won't need to demonstrate um, going to the donkey kicks, but over here, they will be doing their donkey kicks with the big box and the trapezoid. Um, so for beginner, they do not need to kick very high, probably just horizontal is more than fine. Hands stay on the box, feet will kick. Um, intermediate, they will try and kick as high as they can above horizontal. So beginner, as long as they're at horizontal, totally fine. Um, intermediate needs to be above horizontal at some point. Um, and advanced, you want to try and get them all the way down. Um, and they will step onto the mini tramp from the box. So you can either use a small box, you can use a medium box, where they will start up on the box, step down and jump onto the mini tramp, and then jump up to handstand that way. They're getting their drill for what they will need. Um, this way. Behind that station is the step and throw station with the ball. Um, everybody is doing the same thing except advance. So, they will start up on this mat. The ball will go above their head. They will step, they will throw it, and try and catch it. If they throw it too hard, it will shoot back that way into the middle of everything that's going on. 
So if at any point in time you're worried that they may have the ball shoot back that way at some point, please demonstrate how far that bar will, or how far that ball will go into this bar setting stuff behind us. Um, that way you don't have to worry about it. Um, and that way nobody has to worry about anybody else getting hurt also. Getting them to throw it upwards rather than extremely aggressively at the wall. So almost just with their wrists. That way it's not a full blown throw at the wall and it bounces and comes off. Cause you do want it to bounce a little bit so they can catch it. Um, and nobody should really, really be in the way on vault. So um, especially tomorrow. Um, so that'll be totally fine also. We are going to do um, weighted ball jumps with advanced um, so instead of jumping down, they will just hold a weighted ball. So either the bigger one or the small one whoop, above their head this way. And all they will do is step down and punch with it. That way they have to be tight. Otherwise the weighted ball will come out of their hand. Um, and then lastly, all the way down here on this eight incher, everybody's going to do the same thing except advanced again. So they're going to push off of the wall and fall to their belly on the eight incher. This is getting them to understand the push part and then the lean going into their ball rather than just jumping and pushing their butt up in the air in a pike rather than going all at one time and leaning. So the eight incher is down there. Um, you can kind of see it in the frame. So they will stand starting this way and then they will push off of the wall, lean forward and fall onto their belly. Um, and advanced will do the same thing except they will do that over an octagon and then fall to their back. And then lastly, over here on the table, um, there will be a resi behind the table this way so there will be a resi back behind this table um, and you will be able to jump up onto the table and then jump off to stick so they're going to try and land on the resi um, the table will need to be this low all the way down it needs to stay there um, no matter the level um, unless you feel like an advanced it can go higher um, but then jumping up there they can either use their hands if they need to um, advance, try and encourage them not to use their hands. Same thing with intermediate. They don't really need to be using their hands to get up there. Um, and then they will kick to a handstand and fall to the resi for a flat back and intermediate. So they'll jump up here onto the table. They will kick up into a handstand on the table and then their back will land on the resi. So that one you may need to spot or help with so they can get over the first couple times also. Um, and then for advanced, they will do a round off off of the table onto the resi. So straight jump all the way up here and then kind of scoop back a hair on the table, put their hands down and then do a round off onto the resi. So there will be mats behind here. But again, since we do have a meet this weekend and there is no rec today, we do not have it set up being it has to be set up over there. Um, so just keeping that in mind when you see what's going on.